What's up guys, I'm Eric. And I'm Connor. We're South Metro's public information officers. And this is our first vlog. As public information officers, our biggest job is making sure that we document what South Metro Fire Rescue does. We can do that really in a variety of ways. We've got picture, we've got video, but then we also have amazing people who are experts at what they do to talk about that and expand on that from the department. Yeah, exactly. So one of our most important jobs is responding to major incidents throughout the district. And we are there to immediately relay information to the community members about what's going on and also to our partners in the news media so they can get the word out there as well. When I think about coming into work each day, something that really stands out to me is every day is different. You can come in and maybe have a slower day and then other days a big call can come in and you just have to be ready to go and to be able to respond at a moment's notice. Yeah, exactly. And earlier today, we responded to uh, Air Alert 2, which is an airplane that is having some kind of problem as it was approaching Centennial Airport. Uh, so that was what took us away from what we were doing earlier today. We responded to that call and uh, you guys can take a look. Incident aside, your incident has been hey. updated. Channel one. Channel 15, Centennial Airport. All right, so what we know so far is that it is, it's an air alert. It's an air alert two. Air alert two. So three different airport alert calls that South Metro has. Air alert one means that there is a problem with an aircraft, but they're not requesting a fire response. It's just kind of like a heads up or a standby that something could happen. Air alert two means that an aircraft is experiencing some kind of a problem and the fire department is actually going to respond with aircraft fire and rescue equipment to stand by for the landing. And then an alert three is the worst case scenario where an aircraft is either on fire or an aircraft has crashed. So the call that we're responding on right now is an air alert two. Um, it looks like it's an aerojet, astrojet with a flat um, Centennial Airport is the second busiest general aviation airport in the country and the 23rd busiest airport overall. They have 950 operations a day, so an operation means a takeoff and a landing. So there's a lot of activity that goes on. So we're just getting to the airport now. The airplane in question that's having the flat problem is six miles away. And is the next plane to land, so we'll be rolling into the airport pretty much right when it touches down. come right into the airport like there's exactly. a bunch of hoops you have to jump through while also coordinating where you're going yeah so we have designated staging areas for all the emergency apparatus um, we're actually sure. holding short of that staging area because the plane already landed and it looked like it landed just fine and isn't going to need any assistance um, so we're just kind of waiting for that word that we can head out um, but yeah the airport is a complicated place to drive it definitely takes a lot of training and experience to drive out okay, here. Okay, Command 45, no aircraft's not requesting further assistance. Alert is terminated. Thanks for coming out. All right, so good news. The alert's terminated and copies. no problems. The plane landed break, without break, incident, break, which break, is exactly break, how break, we break, want break, it to break, happen. Break, so then we will exit the airport and go back in service. Did you know that February 11th is National Start of Vlog Day? What? No way. It probably isn't, but it is for South Metro. It's our first vlog here. And it actually makes sense because today is Connor's first day as a full-time public information officer. First so, day of school. Exactly. I so packed my lunch. We figured why not just start documenting everything we do and get to tell you about it in a little bit of a different way than you're used to. So for some of you, Connor probably looks pretty familiar and there's a good reason for that because just two weeks ago she was actually reporting the news in Denver. That's right. So I actually grew up right in the Denver metro area in Centennial, which is where South Metro's headquarters is. Uh, grew up here, went away to college, and came back two years ago to become a reporter at Channel 7. So for the past two years, I have been probably in your homes on your TV. So this is a different sort of medium. Uh, but the best part is I've got to also work with amazing community members and public 
public information officers. So when this opportunity became available, um, I immediately hopped on it and I've actually been able to be a part-time here since August. Mm -hmm. And so I've got to learn under Eric and I've gotten to follow him around and learn all that he does and also try to figure out how to incorporate my skills as a journalist with pictures, video, and reporting and how that transitions into representing an agency and speaking about uh, a different subject matter. Yeah, and so while it's uh, Connor's first day here at South Metro, it's Eric's 4,422nd <laughs> day. He's been around for a while. Yeah, not that I usually <laughs> count, uh, but for this occasion, I thought I would tabulate that up. So it's been over 12 years that I've been at South Metro, uh, but just over the last two years as the public information officer. Mm -hmm. So my job has been photography, videography, managing our social media accounts, and then being the voice of the fire department both for good stories and uh, safety messages, things like that, and then also the bad stuff that happens that is why the fire department is here. So fires, plane crashes, hazardous materials incidents, really it just runs the gamut. And I've been the person who gets to stand in front of the camera and explain to people what's happening. Uh, Eric Hurst and South Metro have a, have a long evening ahead of them. Right, and what's been great to learn from Eric is, you know, as being a member of the media for, for a, quite a long time, um, it's, it's really important when we get to get on scene and connect with the public information officer. And what's great is Eric is very active on social media, very active with getting back to us with uh, important information that is um, very relevant to that time frame. And so being able to learn from him and uh, figure out how to connect with media, but then also the community in uh, a, a good amount of time to keep everyone updated is, has been really helpful information. Yeah, and I'm super excited to be partnered up with Connor. Um, you're going to get to see... Because we're both short. Yes. Really? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever accused no. us of being we're tall. We're not. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, no. We're bite sized. Uh, but this is going to be awesome because Connor has a lot of training to do to learn about the fire department. She's a stellar journalist, and a lot of you probably already know that. And the, the trick is really going to be learning what the fire department's all about, um, both just because you have to speak on our behalf, but also to keep you safe when, when we're out at fires and incidents and understanding what's going on. Um, so we're going to take people along for the ride, and not just for your training, but also uh, to come along with us when we have calls whether that's in the middle of our normal work day or whether that's two in the morning when the text message goes off and we've got to go to a call. And your hair is up to here from like bedhead, you know, it's crazy. Always have that problem. <laughs> uh, but what we really want to do is, as Eric said, take you guys along because um, it's not just seeing a fire engine or a, a ladder truck driving by or an ambulance. Uh, we want to show you what that looks like behind the scenes. Uh, because there is a lot that's going on from radio traffic to coordinating with everybody um, and trying to figure out what exactly is going on. It's going to give you all a first-hand look at what emergency responders do and how they, how they deal with different incidents and uh, help to make you all safe in the communities in which you live in. And I think we've got one of the best jobs in the fire department, if not the best job. And uh, even though South Metro is the second biggest fire department in the state of Colorado, and that makes it seem like this just huge entity, it's really a lot of individual people that are awesome people who make the department what it is. We get the ability to interact with all of them and go see all the different aspects of what they're doing, all their jobs, and we're going to bring them along with us. Meet, right. meet all those great people. Are you guys ready? I know, I know you can't say it really. You could be saying it at your computer screen, yeah, but, but we're excited to take you with us. And they can show us because they That's can right. like, they mm -hmm. can share, and especially subscribe. There's a, this there's is what this somewhere. is what people do, right, on vlogs? I think so. They, they say subscribe down below. So if there's yeah. a subscribe button, give us a subscribe. So when you subscribe, you will be notified when we put up a new vlog every time. And we're planning on doing that once a week. Uh, it could be more if there's a lot of really exciting things to report on, but definitely once a week. And because this job is so unpredictable, there's not a specific day that it's going to come out. It's just when it makes sense to put one up there. All right. Cool. <laughs> that was a bad ending. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Thanks for taking a look through our lens. See you next time.